Hi, my name is Dave. Today I would like to give you a review of the Orion Star Blast. This is uh, reputedly one of the finest beginner telescopes you can buy, and there are a lot of attributes and a lot of reasons why it is. The Orion Star Blast is a uh, four and a half inch telescope with 450 millimeter focal length. Comes with a, a nice red dot finder, a couple of eyepieces. So this little telescope is very very convenient very handy not too heavy four and a half inches is enough aperture enough uh opening in the, the front to be a good reasonably serious telescope one of the most important characteristics it has are these three sets of bolts here in the back that allow you to collimate the telescope and adjust it uh, for perfect performance the optics in this telescope are uh, parabolic. It's a parabolic mirror and that's a very important characteristic. Uh, a spherical mirror, a lot of the cheaper telescopes in this size are spherical mirrors which are not good. They don't pr produce a good sharp image. This produces a nice sharp image. So the parabolic mirror adds a lot to this telescope. The fact that it's on a good stable mount comes with a couple of decent eyepieces comes with a decent finder. The red dot finder is fine. It's really good. That's the way to go. So this is generally a very, very good telescope. One of the minor downsides to a telescope like this is that it requires uh, collimation. And that's intimidating to beginners. It doesn't need to be because it's really not all that complicated usually. You're going to need a device to help you collimate. You don't need to go out and spend a lot of extra money to buy an expensive laser collimator. Apparently these scopes, the Star Blast, used to be sold with a simple collimating eyepiece, not quite as good, um, but they no longer come with that, and now they want an extra $10 for that. Uh, don't buy that. You can make one simply with, uh, you know, drill a, the hole in the cap that came with the telescope, or find a, uh, the right size diameter kind of a tube. This is a film canister. Drill a hole in that, about a one eighth inch hole, and then you can use that. I've got a whole instructional video about how to collimate a Newtonian for beginners. The very simplest possible way. Let's compare the Orion Star Blast with the Zumel Z100 or Zumel Z100. The Z100, um, and by the way, Orion has one that's similar, uh, almost identical to this telescope. This also has a parabolic mirror. And as I've told you, that's important. Watch out for scopes that look like this one or look like this one and don't have parabolic mirrors. It has to say parabolic in the description for it to be a decent telescope. This little telescope runs right around $150. This one is around $250. Is the difference in price worth it to get a half inch of aperture? In my opinion, uh, I don't think so. I think you're better off to buy this one in a slightly smaller aperture, not quite as good a telescope in that regard, but it's got all the other features. It's got the parabolic mirror, it's got the nice stable mount. Um, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more convenient. This scope doesn't have any way of adjusting it. There are no collimation screws on the back, so you can't tweak this in to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. Of course, on a really low priced telescope, absolutely perfect isn't really um, necessary or even achievable. As a matter of fact, it might be an advantage this doesn't have those for the beginning of the spending $150. This is probably just right. I would say if you want to go a little bit more serious, go with this scope. This has the collimation bolts on it. You can do the whole thing. If you really, really want to stay cheap, go with this one as the absolute minimum. If you're going to spend $250 on a telescope and you're limited to that, there's another option, and that is this one. This is the Astronomers Without Borders One Sky 130 millimeter aperture. Now, it's a little bit larger aperture. It's about a half an inch larger. Larger aperture is good in telescopes. It also has a little longer focal ratio, so it's f5 instead of f4. An f4 telescope is really critical, very, very touchy. This F5 is a little bit more forgiving, a little bit better optical performance, generally speaking. So you get a little bit more telescope with this one. However, it's in a bigger package. 
It's got the disadvantage that it's got an exposed secondary mirror. So you want to be careful with that. That's uh, not something you really like. It folds up to make it nice and portable like that. So it's about the same size, really. You might think that this is going to be a real downside because you're going to have to adjust it all the time. Um, I found that you really don't have to adjust this any more than that one. Uh, you do have to tweak it once in a while, like all Newtonians have to be adjusted a little bit. This one does come with a, a nice collimating eyepiece. However, it also does not have the rotating tube. This one, the tube can rotate so the eyepiece position can be around in different positions. That's good. That's a nice advantage to this. The closed tube is actually probably a little bit superior in terms of performance. Don't let that uh, confuse you, though. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, for about the same price, you should definitely give consideration to this one. And especially if the prices are different considerably, if you get the Orion on sale, that's a good deal if it's uh, less than $250. This one, I believe, is always $250. But if this one, sh you should find this one for less money, this would be the one to buy. If you can afford another $100 or so above this one, I would urge you to consider buying this telescope. This is the StarSense Explorer DX102AZ. It's a wonderful scope, not because of the telescope. The telescope is just about the same as this, roughly equivalent. The main thing about this scope is this revolutionary app that they have that goes with this scope with special technology that allows you to find everything in the sky. It's wonderful. See my review on that. In conclusion, I would like to say that the Orion Star Blast is a very, very good value. For $250, this is a very fine telescope. It's got a parabolic mirror, it's got a good focuser. It's excellent. The optics are very good. Uh, it's very convenient, very portable, easy to use. It's a wonderful telescope. You can't go wrong with one of these. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Orion Star Blast telescope. Thank you for watching.